Hello everyone, welcome to Skaria.com. I'm Dr. Hina Khan and today we're going to discuss the etiology towards ischemic stroke. So there are multiple factors that contribute towards the development of brain damage whenever there is an insufficient blood supply to a particular area of the brain. So we're going to go through in this particular lecture towards the cascade of events that take place uh, before the brain damage occurs in a particular area. Obviously, the key features would include the history taking, the examination, and the risk factors that contribute towards this particular condition in the patient. We're going to go through the most common causes towards the development of stroke in the patient. Obviously, we're going to start off with the cardiogenic causes that are primarily the ventricular thrombi, the valvular diseases, the atrial fibrillation, the carotid stenosis, as well as the carotid plaques can even travel uh, all the way to the uh, cerebral vasculature and cause the cerebral vascular accidents in a particular patient. The particular uh, cascade of events that take place uh, whenever there is an atrial fibrillation or an event of atrial flutter that are going to be discussed in detail over here. Then we're going to go through the mechanisms of artery to artery uh, embolic stroke. How does it take place? What is the pathophysiology? And what are the risk factors uh, that are contribute and make the person more prone to the development of the ischemic events? We have another variant, which is known as the small vessel stroke that would be discussed in detail over here, including the most uh, common causes, as well as we'd be dealing with the lesser common causes of the stroke even over here. That basically includes a lot of hypercoagulable disorders, the homocystinemia, the venous sinus thrombosis, as well as we have the intravenous heparin over here, uh, a lot of congenital conditions, a lot of autoimmune disorders that would be discussed in detail over here. We have a condition which is known as transient ischemia. We'd be discussing the, uh, the definition, the pathophysiology of this particular event. How does it take place? What are the clinical features that are going to highlight the development of this um, ischemic attacks in a particular individual? Then obviously we have a particular scoring system over here. Uh, how do you calculate the particular risk factors in an individual and how does it collaborate and coordinate with the development of uh, this particular syndrome which is known as an ischemic stroke in this particular individual? The scoring system is basically known as the CHAT scoring system uh, that we'd be discussing over here in detail. So these are the risk factors and how do we collaborate with the uh, development of the ischemic stroke in the individuals and in the patients. So you can watch this lecture as well as a range of other medical lectures on our website. So do subscribe to our website and you can even uh, start your free trial right now. So thank you for watching skaya.com.